Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to teach you how to make an origami cat. This is an intermediate level and only requires one square of paper. This is a re-upload of one of the videos from my other channel and I hope you like it. Let's go! To make it easier, we can start with an entire sheet of paper. You can use even printed paper if you want. And then, in this position, we fold the short edge to the long edge. If you already have a square, you don't have to do this, you can skip this step. Just make a crease, 45 degrees. Now in this position, turn the paper over and using the hidden edge, fold a new crease, bringing the extra paper to the left, just like this. Now unfold completely and discard the extra paper, the rectangle. Ok, now we have our square. With the paper in this position, we need to fold the top right diagonal to the middle. Just bring the top side like this and make a crease. Undo. Now repeat the same step on the bottom side. Just bring the edge to the middle. And undo. Now let's close the corner using both creases. To do this, just bring the paper to the middle, both sides at the same time, and make a crease that goes up to the corner. With this, we have a new little flap. Just bring it up and make it sharp. Repeat the same steps on the other side. First the diagonals to the middle. Then close the corner and bring it up. Bring both small flaps down. Then turn it over. And fold in half, bringing the top down, just like this. As you can see, the two flaps are up. Reinforce very well. And now, a little attention. Here we have these two creases. We are going to have to reinforce both. To do this, we fold the paper over the left line then over the right then close both reinforce a little now, in this position, using the previous creases as a guide, first on the right side, open the first layer, bring the previous crease down,
hold the paper like this, preferably with the finger inside. Keep the creases down and flatten the paper, shaping a new edge over the flat below. Just watch and then repeat. Something like this. Close the other side again. Bring the paper to the side. Reinforce very well. Now rotate and repeat the same on the other side. First open the layer, and flatten the paper, shaping the new edge. Bring to the side and the most difficult step is done. Now it's much easier. Rotate, bring to the side and fold the diagonal to the vertical. Unfold, open it, and flatten the paper, giving this shape. Now bring the top corner down. Flatten again, all the way to the top, and bring the flap up again. Now here we have something like a diamond. Turn the paper over, bring the two small flaps down. And starting with the right side, take one straight line to the other, making a mark, but you don't have to mark all the way, just enough to see. Now do the same fold in the diagonal edge. And using the two creases, close the flap, creating a new line that connects the corner to the intersection. Just like this. Now using the three lines, bring the tip, bring the end to the corner that way this is the result now we just have to repeat the same step on the other side first the edges up creating the two first diagonals
Now close the corner. And bring to the side. For the next step, first turn it over, just to make a detail. We need to close this diamond, first to the left. And then fold the diagonal edge that is left, here, to the middle. Bring the diamond to the right. And repeat on the other side. So we have the detail done. We can turn it over again, and here, as you can see, we have two little flaps. To make the detail of the ear, we can fold the corner down, one corner to the other, fold it in half, first the right side, like this, then the left in the same way, just bring one corner to the other, Then fold back up, now leaving a slight difference. Something like this. The other side. The same amount. And turn the paper over again. Here we need to fold the top flap down in the same height that we have these two corners here. Just flatten the paper right over the two corners reinforce a little and turn it over again Bring the extra paper to the middle, both sides. Not exactly to the middle, but as much as you can. More or less like this. Here, reinforce very well. Fold strongly and having done that, we need to fold the top side down using the edges of the two flaps as orientation. Bring this layer down and fold the diagonal of the left to the top then the right side as well, creating these two diagonals. As I said, first the left, bring the side to top, also on the other side, Now using it, we need to close the larger side, pushing the middle up, closing the previous creases, the previous fold like this, leaving the larger part inside.
you should have something like this. Now fold connecting these two points, bringing the larger flap down with an inclination, with a tilt. Then fold back now one edge to the other. Undo both folds, this side is ready, we just have to fix a little bit if necessary. Reverse the creases on the other side, bring the diagonal up, the first one, and the other down. Now push it forward, each half for the respective side. Reinforce, making it really sharp. Open again. Fold this flap up, connecting the two corners. Now, as we already did several times, we must bring both edges down, creating two new diagonal creases. First the left, then the right, and using it, close the flap over it. Bring both sides forward again, reinforce a little, undo this step. Now to make an optional detail, we can bring the flap down like this and close putting both corners together. Now in this position, we can fold the remaining corner down. Here fold strongly. Make it really sharp. Then undo. Bring back to the previous position. Reinforce these three lines, the ones we just did. And push it the middle, reversing this corner, this fold. Close again, bringing both sides forward. And we have the tail detail. Now we can make the head. To do this, pay close attention. We first have to shape the paper a little bit, making the head more round. Now we need to reverse the middle crease by bringing the paper down like that. and do it until about the last third of the paper. Getting here we can hold tight the paper. Reinforce a little. and fold the extra flap inside. Shape a little more, if necessary. So we have the head done. Reinforce a little bit the neck, 
And for a more realistic result, we can round the tail, making maybe a spiral. Just bend as you see fit. Something like this is enough. Now we need to see if it can sit. If not, we need to either open the front legs or bend the back legs. I prefer to bend the back legs, but this is your choice. Now the cat can sit perfectly. As the final detail, well, as you can see, the cat's facing forward. If you want the cat to look sideways, just bring the first layer of the neck to the side, like this. Hold tight. And our origami cat is ready! It is not exactly an easy model, probably it is intermediate, but considering the level of detail, this origami is very easy to do, and has an amazing result. Thank you very much for watching, see you next time!